Hey guys, I had a, a neighbor come up to me here this year, and right as I was getting done with my planting on my own farm, he hit me up about getting somebody to rent his farm a little farther south. So we're going to head down there and see what he's all got. I, you know, drive by it, but you don't really ever stop and look at their field ground and be like, oh wow. I think I need to have that or that it does really good or anything. You just, it's all about hearsay and everything. So we're going to run down there and check it out. He was saying he was having issues with runners this year. So I think I might have a good chance to, a good chance to uh, get in there yet this year. And possibly be able to put in some corn or soybeans and see if it's even worth me traveling that distance but oh I see the neighbors are out here digging around snooping around I wonder what they're building I have to go figure that one out that's new but, uh, it's quite a drive down, and we'll see where we're at with this. Shouldn't take too long to get there. And actually venture out and see what we got going on. I might try to pick up some custom harvest. They see a lot of guys got it planted, but there's talk around saying that they needed uh, needed a little bit of help getting all their crops out, so any bit of cash I can pick up here this year would be nice. I'm trying to get out from leasing all the stuff, so I, got, I sent one of the combines back. I'm going to try to do it all this year with only one. Let's see how long it takes me and then um, you know what the banker doesn't know doesn't hurt him so if I pick up these couple fields down here it should be going just fine then and hopefully get some more coming in
nice little river crossing. Let's see if, uh, oh, how deep is it? Doesn't look too bad. Don't fall off. We might have to get the, go grab some uh, rock and widen that on out here. If we do end up leasing this and it opens up into two separate fields. Hmm. I think it was this one that he was talking about. Could be wrong. It's a little low for my likings. Feels like this whole bottom area will get flooded out here. But I think we're going to give it a shot. Let me look up here once and see what the CSR and everything is. Well, alright, we've got some different soil types here. Not too bad. Yeah, he's talking about these three. And so far, it needs everything. Let's see here. Hmm. Should I grab the two? Or just this little one up here? We got about... I can't even remember what that converts to. I think it's only like... I don't know, there's about three acres in a hedge right here. Yeah, yeah, not bad, but I'm going to have to probably just do the one this year and see how it goes. Field 26. Let's get that one in there real quick. I'm just going to lease that one here this year and... Not bad, not bad. We'll get that one done up. And I think we're going to get the planter down here right away. And get that one planted. I really do not want to mess with the river bottom this year. They were talking for quite a bit of rain yet. And... I just don't care to put in the crop insurance on flooding ground at the moment. And that crick crossing is not the best. So I'll have to talk to him about getting that one done up. But I'll catch you guys back once we get the tractor down here to plant this field. A few things changed here in the half an hour it took me to get down here. He called and said, well, if I'm coming in to do this one, I might as well plant the other two, regardless of what happens this year. And he said, if it does end up flooding, he would cover it. And possibly, if I need it, he would... Uh, he would widen out that crick crossing. So, I'm just going to get this planted. Hopefully, I have enough seed left along with liquid fertilizer, nitrogen, to get this field, these three fields, I should say, planted with uh, corn, since that's what I was planning on doing. And possibly go um, if not I'll have to just finish it tomorrow and get some more seed I was not expecting this at all I was actually hoping to send quite a bit of it back so that is an update on that situation and we'll see how far we end up getting but I'm just going to plant some corn into these cover cover crops here and 
then we'll have to get the sprayer down here and round up it. I got a little too big a planter, I'd say, for this small field, but should please him. Get it done quickly. And see if I can't get some uh, some brownie points with him here. He does have quite a bit of other ground around here and possibly get into leasing or custom farming some more ground for him. He owns the farm just behind us there. A couple. I think one or two sheds and a couple grain bins. So that might work out. I might not have to haul the stuff near as far as I thought. So we'll see how this year goes. See how much yield we can get off of this with how much input cost we got going on. It's a little late for anhydrous, so we're just going to wing it this year and see how we do and go from there.